Today we are going to look at five different stir shafts and how to attach some agitators to them. First up are a stainless steel stir shaft and its vertical and pitched blade style agitator. Notice that the agitator uses a set screw to secure it. Make sure you have the correct Allen wrench. This particular agitator needs a 2mm Allen wrench which I have here. You want to make sure the end of the impeller is flush with the end of the stir shaft. And you're done. Sticking with stainless steel, here we have another stainless steel stir shaft. This one has an oval or football style stainless steel agitator. For this one, we will need a flat head screwdriver. In front of us, we have the agitator, a flat head screw, and a button. First, place the agitator's hole over the stir shaft's hole. Then, insert the button into the hole. Finally, insert the screw and fasten it together. You will notice that the agitator still has room to spin. When you insert it into the flask, make sure to have the agitator vertical. As the stir shaft spins, the agitator will naturally become horizontal. Keeping with the button style agitators, we have one here. However, this time we have a 10 millimeter PTFE coated glass stir shaft. No tools needed for this one. Insert the blade from the straight side. Move it along to the button end. Turn it vertically so that the notch can pass through the hole on the agitator and then turn the blade horizontally with very slight pressure. When inserting it into a flask, insert it in vertically and then push it against the glass gently to turn it horizontal. Here, we have the other 10 millimeter glass stir shaft. This one, however, is polished glass. Our agitators are a PTFE anchor impeller and a PTFE turbine. First, take the two paddles of the anchor agitator and put them together to form a multi-paddle. As a side note, Putting the anchor's multi-paddle together is very similar to putting the regular multi-paddle together for a rectangular agitator setup. Next, stick it into the thread with the thin flat side facing down. Now, insert the stir shaft into the thread. Be aware of the two beads at the bottom of the stir shaft. They go in between the sides of the agitator's head. Then, from the top, insert the PTFE ring and then the screw cap. Do not worry about the hole on each side of the thread on the bottom anchor agitator. And screw the cap to the thread. Then, do the same things for the second agitator. But this time, insert the turbine impeller from the top as with the ring and screw cap. This is also a polished glass stir shaft. 
but it is 19 millimeters. This one works almost identical to the previous one, except for one small difference. You need to find the hole on the stir shaft and on the agitator and match them up. Once matched up, run a pin that looks like this through the holes. This will help keep the agitator in place. Do the same for the second agitator, but otherwise, this one works just the same as the previous one. That's it. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please write or call us. Thanks for watching and have a great day.